<laughs> Alright, where's number one? Right there. Alright, can you open it? You have to open it. Okay. Kyle, can you do it? <laughs> you poke it right here. You pull it open. What's in there? Open it up and pull out what's in there. What is it? What's else in there? Nothing. I think it shows you what to build here. That's no, really it shows neat. you how to build it. You want to build it? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right number two. <clears throat> nope. Yeah, number two. Yep. You open tomorrow. that tomorrow. This is your one for today. What's the story about? Was it wrapped or? It's wrapped up. Oh, that's oh. nice. I think it, does it slide out? Pulls out. Can you get it? There you go. <gasps> oh, one of your mom's oh, favorites. Oh, Aristocats. <laughs> I have a Aristocat movie. Do you? <laughs> yes. On, on Disney Plus. Uh, and, oh, yeah. anything that yeah. is on streaming, she says it's hers. It's really funny. <laughs> and Aristocat Christmas. Is that the word in that book? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, can you read that? Yes. Good morning. Today is December 1st, 2021, the first day of Vlogmas. And the first time I'm ever doing vlogmas. So welcome. And yeah, I have wet hair. I actually, <laughs> for the start of vlogmas, I'm feeling like I'm really excited to do it, but also it's kind of a chaotic start. You probably hear animal noises in the background right now. And that's Matilda playing. That's my now four-year-old. She just turned four on Sunday. Um, my in-laws are staying with me. They came to visit for her birthday, and it's just interesting because I'm a vlogmas is like a new routine for me. I've never done like a vlogmas, and it felt weird for the very first time to be like recording in front of them. And then yeah, I got late in the shower. I don't even know. I don't even have my watch on. I always have my watch on. It's just it's been kind of like a little chaotic. <laughs> But like good chaos and so if you're into that kind of vlogmas it's <laughs> um yeah so Matilda opened her her vlogmas this morning I don't know how I'll edit this if you'll have seen video footage of that or if that, that's gonna come up here soon but she my mom sent her a Disney book one advent and then well, we had, we were doing Elf on the Shelf, and so the Elf on the Shelf brought her a Lego one. So that was really fun. But I, between that and getting breakfast going, I never got a chance to open my Evans yet this morning. And so I'm going to do that. Now, I have a Stress Knits Advent, which is a yarn advent from the Dyer Stress Knits that my husband gave me. And so this is the first package. And I hung them up on these little lighted strings actually in my kitchen which might seem kind of strange it's where we eat but I set up all of the advents over there so we can have them and open them at breakfast time so we did and I'll probably end up opening this at breakfast once my in-laws are gone that's what we did last year and then I had them all the way up until we travel for Christmas so I had them all the way up until we start to travel and then I have the rest kind of tucked in a little basket so that's this, and this one is a advent my mom sent me, and I think it's a stitch marker advent, I actually don't know, so I'm going to open it up, and it'll be a nice surprise. And to open those, sorry for the crinkling, I was hoping to cast on my stress knits project for my advent today, but I'm still in the swatching mode for it, because I'm actually making a sweater out of my advent yarn. And so it's really important that I get gauge and stuff. So I, even though I'm going to be a little bit behind, like I'm not sad about it. And I'm actually doing that same sweater with the same event with Maddie from 
We Share Needles podcast made by Maddie on YouTube. Okay, this is amazing. I was not expecting a tonal because last year there was a lot of, ex I had a stress knits event last year and I don't know the name of this and I have the card in the kitchen in the basket around the little Christmas tree and so I'll have to go look at it but I don't, if I was to give it a name, I would call it like Sugar Plum or something, but I don't know what she named it. I'll have to go look. <laughs> or like some kind of candied Sugar Plum or something. It's so good. Yeah, so that's really cool. I'm loving the colors already. That's why I was really excited about Shrest Knits Advent. It's like there's not a color that she doesn't dye that I don't love. So, okay. More crinkling. Okay, this is cute. It is a stitch marker. And it looks like it's Disney. And it looks like it's Snow White. Let's see here. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I think, I think it's a Snow White. It's cute. I have cast on Ida, so I just want to like cast something on that needs a stitch marker now. <laughs> okay. So that's really fun. And I have another, one more fun thing to show you before I go. I, I go and get out with my day, is what I'm trying to say. I actually, sometime last week, while my in laws were here, I actually finished this, which is my Christmas sweater. I don't know if you can see it's a Christmas tree there. I started it this summer and I've just been kind of slowly, like slowly knitting it as I felt the interest in doing it. And now I have it for December. So that's super exciting. And um, this is my second Christmas sweater I've finished this year. I was gonna wear a Christmas sweater today, but I decided to wear this instead. <laughs> because I knew it would make Matilda happy. Um, these are Lady, I'm a big Disney fan. These are, this is Lady from Lady and the Tramp. This is Tramp, it's Camp. So I actually got this at a thrift store and whenever I go to a thrift store, I always look for button up shirts that had embroidery on them that look like totally 90s. Like I just love them. So, I would say this is probably one of my most epic thrift store finds. Essentially, I remember the exact moment I found it. I was like, oh, here's a striped button up. Usually the ones that have embroidery are like denim. And I just pulled it out like almost haphazardly. And then I saw Disney. And I was like, this is just everything. So it's one of my favorite shirts ever. So I decided to wear it today. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so that's the start of my vlogmas. Really, um, fun for me, a little chaotic, and I don't know how it'll all end up editing, but thanks for joining me for my very first vlogmas. I have some errands to run today, which I don't even know if I'll film that because that might not be very interesting. And I, Matilda has dance lessons and I will film it, but I don't know if I'll end up putting it in the vlog because there's other children. It depends on if I can figure out how to cover up their faces. And so that's all the plans I can remember now. <laughs>
when you have a sun break or a day that's sunny, you need to get outside. It's good, good for your soul. Um, today is it, not been raining today, so it's not a sun break. It's literally the whole day is a sun break. So it's been a fun day. Um, we went to dance lessons. And at dance lessons, Matilda was working on her Christmas dance. She has a Christmas recital coming up. They will wear pajama bottoms on the bottom, a black shirt on top, and then like a hair piece. And they're dancing to, I didn't know this, a song about hippopotamuses and Christmas. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm embarrassed now that I don't know that. Um, shit. <laughs> We need to practice. I actually like take videos of her dancing so we can go back home and practice. But mainly she just wants to watch it and like critique what she says <laughs> or sees and doesn't actually practice. <laughs> but not just her, like it's in like two weeks and I'm like, it's hard for me to imagine this actually like working out. The teacher has very high expectations for this dance, <laughs> which I actually appreciate. It should be interesting. They're literally like switching spots. I don't know. <laughs> I'm oversharing about the dance choreography right now. Anyway, during her dance, one of the things I like to do is knit. I always bring knitting with me. And so what I worked on today at dance was my gauge swatch for my Radvent cardigan, which I should be starting today, but I'm not doing gauge swatching. Because I ended up doing a giant gauge swatch because I needed the gauge for the ribbing and the stocking out of it because sometimes when I go on Ravelry and I look at these red vents, they fit some people beautifully and then some, like I feel like the fit isn't particularly spot on and I just don't know why that is. And I'm wondering if it has to do with the gauge washing the ribbing because basically on the sweater you want it loose up top but negative ease on the waist. And so you need to use your waist measurement instead of your bust measurement which is a little bit atypical for sweaters that I've knit in the past. I'm not saying that you shouldn't always do that, but, um, so I had a bit of a hard time designing on size and anyway, I'm really excited to start it, but I want it to be something I'm going to love because I know I'm going to love my advent. So I do want to spend this early time enjoying this, the gaze swatch. So I have leftovers from my advent last year. And so I'm using my leftovers from my advent last year to gauge swatch because it's I got a stress knits advent last year and so I have a stress knits advent this year so should be <coughs> good to do that. Um, so the other advent I have that I haven't opened up yet is my David's T one. I'm really excited about that. I thought I would save that for the evening because my husband Kyle has a beer advent and so he's gonna drink his beer in the evening and so he did open it this morning and he put it in the refrigerator um, so he'll have it this evening so this is a much better spot for me right now because the sun is not in my eyes I'm actually at a park I would say I come here at least twice a day I take, usually take a noontime walk, but my routine's been a little bit off now because my in-laws are visiting. I think they're leaving tomorrow though. Um, and then I bring Matilda here to play. So that's the at least two times a day, but sometimes more if I take an afternoon, a second afternoon walk. Um, <laughs> all right, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, after dance, we went to Starbucks. I got a peppermint mocha. It's kind of our tradition. We always go to Starbucks after dance. So I got a peppermint mocha. And then um, we came home, had lunch, and I had to run an errand that involved stopping at a local store to me called Pollinate and I ended up getting a shower, what are they called? A, a shower steamer, one of those things you put in your shower and it like lets off essential oils. Have you ever used those? Um, it's like a bath bomb for your shower. So, 
interesting. That would be really fun to do um, after my in-laws leave. Just when I take like a nice bath or shower, it sometimes like motivates me to like clean and like get recentered. So I thought that would be really fun. And somebody's blowing leaves over there right now, and it seems kind of loud. So uh, I'm probably gonna say goodbye now. <laughs> And I hope you're enjoying your first day, December, as much as I am. How would I just do? Forgot to press record. <laughs> and what'd we just do? Open the, all the yarny things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is Wool Baron. <laughs> the it came two to two little hanks, and it's their their advent game. I don't really know how many stripes are in it. It was really cute, and there's these like little stitch markers, which, which Kyle noticed, and I didn't. And then the other one was Freckle Whimsy, and it's really cute. And I had Kyle unbox them, and then I never hit record. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I have I you? I did my part. <laughs> Why did I have you unbox them? I'm supposed to knit one of them. <laughs> Which one are you choosing? The darker one. The darker one. Yeah, that's a good one. What's that over there, Kyle? It's my advent beer. <laughs> I really don't Grant need it. Where hell. The grumpy <laughs> German hells. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of beer that is. Well, I'm going to wind these up. You thought I'm a novice at this.
All right, I remember to press record, but my face isn't in it. Hi. I'm going to, oh, there we go. <laughs> this is great. I'm opening my tea end up. Oops. Here we go. Look at this. It, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. It smells fruity. Mm. So I'm opening number one. It is butterscotch chai. Look at that. Oops, there's some glare there. Let me take it out. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. What do you say? Oh, it's gonna dump out. Oh, I am <laughs> I'm the worst vlogger. This is so good. I'm learning so much right now. I'm mostly learning what to, I'm mostly learning what not to do right now as the situation. <laughs> hey Kyle. Cool. I'm recording you. <laughs> Are you gonna do a contrast heel? Like a solid? I'm not sure. Mm. Probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Getting a close up. I don't need it. 